Oh my god, she just passed out. Skylar just passed out. Oh my gosh, this is this is an actual nightmare. I'm Kelsey and I love colorful things. So we're back once again for another episode of the Not So Berry Challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims where you have 10 generations and each generation is themed after a different color. The current generation and today's last episode of this generation is the gray generation. I'm filming this video right after I filmed Wednesday's video. So unfortunately, none of the bugs have been changed with the new pack. However, I'll be using some of it today. Maybe not all of it. We'll hopefully get to use the pack in all its glory in future weddings. But for today, I still wanted to have a wedding. I've been waiting for this one. You've been waiting for this one. I still think it'll be a fun day. And honestly, Skylar's not the type to have a huge wedding anyway. So it's all gonna be good. So without further ado, I guess let's get into the finale of the gray generation of not so berry wedding. <laughs> okay, cool, 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 cool. I have a little drinky drink today. Not alcoholic, obviously. <laughs> That'd be funny. I had a little glass of champagne to celebrate. Anyway, okay, it is a Wednesday. I don't know a wedding event. Okay, we could plan all these wedding events. I'm thinking tomorrow we should maybe have like a rehearsal dinner or like an engagement dinner of some sort. But I'm thinking a rehearsal dinner sounds kind of fun. I haven't done the rehearsal dinner yet. So let's do that. And we'll do obviously the hosts are Skylar and Casey. We're not gonna invite like every family member. Like I said, I feel like it's gonna be kind of close knit. We could invite Genevieve just to be like, because that Amethyst friend, maybe that's like Amethyst plus one. But other than that, I don't think anyone else is invited. You know what actually I wanna do before all that? I need to find where Cannon lives because I want to meet Cannon's wife. I really feel like we've been kind of like focused on, like Cannon comes over all the time. We invite Cannon over, he's a part of our family, but we haven't actually gotten to know his side of his new family. And I feel like his wife should be involved with the kids considering like, you know, it's her husband's kids. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. So let's try I tried to track down Canon Ito. <sighs> I might have to check every world. The hunt is on. Canon, where are you? Canon, 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 Canon Ito. No, no. Mm -mm. I know you're out there, Canon. Okay. Oh, no one's in the tiny yellow house. Oh my gosh. Memories. Oh my gosh. What if we moved back with a future gen and we made it over? That would be so fun. I could totally see like an orange gen camping out at like an old relative's house. We will see. Okay. New Crest. There's no families in New Crest. I don't, I don't know why I checked. I don't know why I clicked on it again. All right. Ito. Okay. This is where. Wait, does Cannon have a kid? Oh, they did have their own kid. How cute is that? That's Cordell Ito. This is the half sibling. Oh my gosh. Of our kids. Cordell. And this is Caitlin Ito. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's give Caitlyn a little makeover. I, I don't love pretty much any of this is that's going on. Blonde. Okay, Caitlyn Ito is blonde. Let's do maybe, I like this one. And then we could do kind of like some lashes. The brows are just like, why are they trilling all the way down your face? I do not like those brows. So let's, let's give you some like other brows. There you go. All right, and they were blonde. I do like the dark brows though. And then the blonde hair, I think that's kind of nice. And then for the blonde hair, I think this one's pretty. Am I like rude if I take away the, the color and the hair? I don't know, maybe I am, maybe I am. We could just give this sim fully red or red hair, but I kind of like the blonde. I think it's pretty, all right. This top, yeah, perfect. And then we'll do like some, maybe some jeans, some comfy jeans and shoes, yes! Okay, this is Caitlyn Ito. I like Caitlyn a lot. Oh my gosh, good for you, Cannon, with Caitlyn. Caitlyn, I like Caitlyn. Oh, she's a kleptomaniac, but she's adventurous and loves the outdoors and she wants to be an indoor enthusiast. I love that. He likes a little bit of a bad girl. We love to see it. Okay, the Edos live here. Okay, great. We're gonna go visit the Edos. We're gonna grab the whole fam. We're gonna visit so we can meet them and they, they can be a part of the wedding. Although our kids have to be like the ring bearers and the flower pals. <laughs> So excited. Okay, 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 Ooh, wedding. Oh. All right, so we are going to travel. Let's bring our wife, Casey, but we're gonna leave the kids with Amethyst. Amethyst is gonna watch it while we kind of do wedding stuff this morning. Oh, so cute. All right, so the Edos moved to Windenburg. Oh, oh my God, it's raining at the Von Windenburg estate. Okay, look who's out in the rain, it's Cordell. Let's both introduce ourselves. Hello, Cordell, so sweet. 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting to know Cordell, but we also need to knock on Cordell's home and go meet. Oh my gosh, Cannon and his wife are livid in luxury. Dang, okay. Oh, here we go. Here's Caitlyn. Hello, Caitlyn. Cheerful introduction. Be like, hey, Caitlyn. I wanna be friends. I'm sorry that we haven't introduced ourselves before. Enthuse about the upcoming wedding. Announce her engagement. Be like, oh, I'm engaged. I thought it was time that we, you know, share our families together. She's so excited. Oh my gosh. Ask about her career. Oh my God, Caitlin's a joker. I feel like she'd get along with Amethyst. All right, so she met Caitlin. It was like, they didn't get along super duper well. Oh, let's take a photo with Caitlyn. That'll get her to be our friend. All right, take a photo with Caitlyn. Look at these two. Oh, so cute. Okay, love this that th we're gonna be friends now so that we can invite Caitlyn to the wedding. Caitlyn, you can't not be my friend. It's not allowed. What, is that's all? Are you kidding? Can we just like ask about day? What do you mean that's all the friendship we gained from that interaction? I'm honestly shocked. Well, it doesn't feel like it's going super well. So we're going to kind of bounce out. I think, well, actually Casey should introduce yourself as well. Let's do a respectful introduction and then you'll head home. All right, fabulous. And work starts for you in an hour, Casey. So you might as well head home. Oh, very nice. But goodbye, Cordell. <laughs> He's just running around in the rain. Absolutely hilarious. I'm so glad that we got to meet Caitlin. I don't know whether or not Skylar knows Uncle Dale and I feel like Uncle Dale should be at the wedding. So let's see if we can get a hold of Uncle Dale. Did Dale move? Where is Dale? Okay, the Edos are not there anymore because they used to live next door. They all moved. I have no idea where Uncle Dale lives now. Okay, well, let's send him a text. Why don't you give a bath to Sterling really quick before you got to go to work? Oh wait, you have to go to work now, don't you? Oh, unfortunate. Okay, she's going to go to work. Mom is going, oh, she got a call for, oh, yeah, okay. Dale wants to hang out with her at the park. That's nice. We're gonna let the kids have a babysitter for now because both of them were stinky. They were not in the mood to go to the park with us. Oh my gosh, in the rainy park. Where are you, Dale? Uh, okay, he wasn't here. He didn't show up. Is it because of the rain? Dale, you can't bail on me, okay? Don't bail, Dale. Okay, Dale is here. Let's do a polite introduction. It seems like we don't know Dale for some reason. In, but we're gonna meet Dale now so that we can Oh my God, announce the engagement. Be like, I'm engaged. I'm really happy. Oh my God. It seems like Dale and her do not get along. I don't know why. We tried to talk like twice to him and the friendship went down since they introduced each other. It's fine. We're all gonna get better, better acquainted with each other when the wedding events actually happen, you know? Speaking of which, let's add some wedding events. So I think tomorrow we should do the rehearsal dinner because it just sounds nice. All right, so the whole family is coming. So we'll have a celebration feast and we'll have maybe a toast. That sounds nice. And then we will choose, it will be the rehearsal dinner. Hmm. I kind of want to put down a new venue for this. Here we go. Let's go to the Celebrazioni del de, de Amor. I feel like that'll be a fun place to go. And then we'll probably download a new place for the wedding to take place. I don't know if that's normal with weddings, <laughs> but that's what's going to happen with our wedding. And this will be held at maybe like five. I'm going to go six. PM. Perfect. Okay. Now we gotta get these sweet baby angels handled here. All right. Sterling is needing a bath. All right. So let's give a bath to Sterling. So cute. Ash is fine. What are your needs, Ash? Nothing, nothing big. Sterling's a little hungry. So we'll pull out some food for Sterling. We have some yummy minced pork noodles. I don't know if that's good for a kid, but we'll find out if they can eat it. Oh, they can. Wow. They're, they're fancy. These are two fancy boys. They have great taste. Look at these two while mom's working out at home, vibing, you know? Oh God, the trash can looks terrible. Looks like nobody's been really clooning off around here. In her last investigation, Casey discovered some pretty seedy details about a certain politician. The politician not so subtly hinted that she should squash the story or else should Casey do it or reveal the dirty details. I feel like she would re reveal everything. I feel like Casey's like, uh, uh, you're not going to stop me. Okay. Casey has proof of all the misdeeds and the politician can't deny it. The article is a sensation. She gained performance. Yay. That is so great. I kind of 
want to find like a wedding venue. Beautiful Japanese gray wedding. Oh my gosh, this is actually perfect. We have to use this. All right, I'm gonna favorite this lot. It literally looks so cute. And while we're taking a bath here, I'm gonna save and then I'm gonna put down this lot and maybe make some like adjustments of anything that we need. 20 shooky. So I'm gonna put it where this lounge is. I'm so excited. And it's all gray and it's Japanese. So I don't have to change anything. I actually wanna use the new venue type, the wedding venue for it. And it looks like it has almost everything that it needs. It just needs a wedding arch. This wedding arch is very cute, but there are some new wedding arches that we have. So I kind of feel like this would be kind of cool because it's part of the new pack. So let's do that in like a, kind of like this like white version. And then for the seating, I wanna do it obviously in gray. Oh, here's a gray chair. Okay, perfect. Actually, I kind of like the bench idea. And I think the benches do come in gray. Yes, they do. Okay, so perfect. We'll do these benches. Oh, it's like uncentered. Okay, we might have to change this little pathway thing that they have going on. Even though it's beautiful, I think we might have to change it. And it doesn't look like this is centered anymore. So I'm gonna move that here. Okay, this is looking good. This is looking good. And then I will put a little walkway. We'll do like some gray petals. Ooh, so pretty. Okay, you're perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they get married, right? I think that's how it works. Or do we want the roses? Maybe we want it like, no, I like it. We like it roses. It's fine. We're good. Oh, there's a dance floor over here and it's karaoke. How cute is that? Okay, we definitely need the little wedding dance floor in the gray, excellent. And I love that there's karaoke that is perfect. Kind of want it like more open, if that makes sense. I sort of want there to be like a big open archway so that it feels like very indoor outdoor. I know this is not exactly what I'm sure the person that made this had in mind, but I like it to be like more open floor plan, you know? And then we have over here, little bathrooms. Those are perfect. I love this little like walkway over here. This is beautiful. This is really beautifully done. Okay, they don't have a place for a bar. So maybe we'll put a bar here so that they can have drinks. There you go, there's the bar. I kinda want, yeah, this is cute too. Oh, it comes in a gray, this one's gray, perfect. All right, that's great. They've got little signage there. Yeah, I think it looks really good. I think this is pretty dead on. Let's save and we will continue. Ooh, now we can schedule our wedding. I'm so excited. I feel like there's just been so much prep. <laughs> Oh, we have to ask everyone. Okay, never mind. We have to wait and ask everybody to be our Sims of Honor and everything. We can't actually do all of this yet. Where is Cannon? He's gonna be my Sim of Honor. Let's invite him. <gasps> wait, what if Amethyst was our Sim of Honor? Okay, but we need the kid, these kids to be flower pals though. So, okay, let's ask the kids. You gotta wake up, cause you gotta be flower pals. Wake up, sweeties. I know you're tired. Wait, can she not ask them? I don't think they can be toddlers. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. We're gonna have to invite over the only kid that we know that is going to the wedding. We're inviting over Kala and Riley and we're gonna ask Kala be to be the flower pal. There she is. There's our girl. Okay, we're gonna invite her to be the flower person. And then we need a ring bearer still. So shoot. She said yes. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh my gosh. Yay. Riley's coming in and cleaning already. Amethyst is home. Okay, go take a shower. And we need to ask Sim of honor or she could be the ring bearer. Oh, this is hard to choose who should be what. Oh, Amethyst has work in about an hour in case you just came home. Oh, Casey. Amethyst is, oh, she's tired. Okay, why don't you take a little nap and then maybe play your guitar a little bit? Cause I think that gives you fun. Yeah, it does give her fun. And then she's gonna go to work. Oh, look at that, so cute. Oh my gosh. Cousins hang out. That makes me so happy. Wait, so who's gonna be what? Oh, it's so hard to choose who should be what. Okay, I think Cannon should be officiate because that would be cute. So I think that means Amethyst should be Sim of Honor. We don't need everything, but it would be fun because they have enough family members to really do it. I just wish one of the boys were a little older. We're gonna invite, oh, and Jordan has to come to the wedding. Okay, it looks like none of them are available. I don't know where Cannon is, but he is not on here as a person that we could invite. 
night as like a thing, so whatever. You know what? We have the dinner. We can invite everybody, so that'll be perfect. We're just gonna bond with our family members. That's so cute. I love that she's hanging out with the kids. Ooh, and Jesse Ito's calling. I've been thinking about getting to know Nicole Berry better as a friend. Yeah, go for it. You guys should hang out. Okay, we need to put this little guy to bed. I cannot believe our friendship is not going up that high. It's just kind of weird. Didn't we already ask her to be flower person at the wedding? Oh, well, both of them are gonna ask, I guess. Amethyst brought home simoleons and she did good work. Okay, how is she? She's good. She's like middle of the road there with her work and she needs some fun. So what could be fun? Probably dancing. Let's like listen to talk radio. What? Change station. Okay, here we go. I think she likes hip hop. So go listen to some hip hop and then why don't you do some dancing? All right, that'll get your fun up pretty quick. There you go. You also be dancing with Kala. That's cute. You guys can dance together. You guys don't know each other. You're cousins. See, her fun's going up really quickly. Love that. Okay. Oh, and now she's gonna go to sleep. Go take a disco nap though. There you go. Everybody's going to bed. It's 10 p.m. Ash, go back to bed, Ash. Mom tried to read you to sleep. You should go to bed. All right, there we go. Everyone's asleep. It's Thursday. We are still not a very good stewardess D student, so we do need to do our homework. She's gonna come sit in here. I don't think she did all of her homework. She literally just started it and then didn't do any of it. Oh my gosh, girl. Okay, and Casey is up also. Poor girl gets home so late from her job, is trying to work so hard. Somehow a D student, which is trash garbage, but we're so close to being an A student, so it's fine. All right, and then we need you to do your homework, please. Please do your homework, please, 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 please. Where'd you put it? Where'd you put your homework? Is it in this room? It is. Go do your homework. You're feeling inspired. Perfect timing. Looks like she woke up Sterling. Aw, that's sweet. Okay, Sterling's gonna chill with his big sister and play. Okay, she's 75% done. Come on, you're so close to being 100% done. Okay, she did it. Why don't you practice some music? And then I wonder, oh my gosh, she's tense. Okay, if you're so tense, why don't you listen to some hip hop and like work out because I feel like that de-stresses you sometimes. There you go. And she likes fitness. Yeah, see her, her likes is up there. Okay, perfect. Just like her mom. Oh, what is our little kid doing? He's eating popcorn. Oh no. I think they should ask her to be Sim of Honor. Oh, she fell. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of Summer, I think. Oh no, Ash is upset. He is hungry. All right, maybe don't eat popcorn. I think you should, oh no. It looks like what your big sister made is gone. Oh shoot. Casey starts working about an hour. Oh no. Isn't school going on right now? Oh gosh, she got to go to high school. All right, mom, it's all you. You got to cook breakfast. And Casey, can you give a bath to Ash? Good luck at school, Amethyst. Please, please, please study hard. Ash is getting a bath, which is good. And Sterling is still hungry. Sterling, I don't think you should be eating popcorn instead of a meal. Although poorly is cooking for you. Power conservation day. Looks like Casey's off to work. Bye, Casey. Have a good day at work. Oh my God, Yamachan! Get out of here. Leave, Yamachan. Put my guitar down and leave. Who are you and what are you doing in my house? You better believe if I could fight you, I would. You're lucky the Sims make me literally incapable of doing anything but taking a selfie with you or doing the mountain move because you are on my list. Get out of my home and leave my family alone, Yamachan. That's what I thought, you better run. Anyway, now we're just hanging with our boys. Hanging with the boys. Can we do like a social event play date? Okay, I've never had one of these. There's like a toddler play date. We're the host and these are the host toddlers and we're inviting Cordell over and it's gonna be at our house. Oh, so cute. Oh my gosh, we're having Cordell over for a play date. Look, Caitlin's come over to come with Cordell for the play date. We should cook something for the toddlers. I feel like fruit salad would be a good thing for the toddlers to eat. All right, so the toddlers should like hug each other. Where's Cordell? Cordell, where are you? Come here, Cordell. Maybe he's shy and he's like, I just want to be with mommy. But luckily Sterling's like a little lover. So he's going to come over and chat with Cordell and give Cordell some loving. But looks like Ash is shy. So Ash is probably not going to talk to Cordell. Ooh, it looks like Caitlin's trying out the guitar. It seems like it's a popular thing. Where are you going, Ash? Ash is going to go play dolls in his room. Okay, here we go. Let's invite everyone to the meal. Be like, hey everyone, I made snacks. 
enjoy their yummy meal. It's just ignore the fact that the whole house is dark as heck. All right, they're all enjoying their food. Oh my gosh, are we playing with Cordell? And Caitlin loves it. This is so wholesome. I love that we did this. Oh, Cannon's here. Oh my gosh. Come on in, Cannon. Oh, Amethyst grades are up. Yes, Amethyst, you're a sister. To oh, and she's in oh my gosh i'm not okay she's having a mood swing oh my god why don't you just nap it off sweetie okay go take a little disco nap okay you did great at school i'm so proud of you you don't have to go to school tomorrow you're gonna be an a student before long i trust i trust meanwhile we're we're reading our books and cannon's playing with ash there's so many toddlers sterling is a little sad he needs some fun he needs a bath oh my gosh that toddler is magic it is zooming. Oh my gosh, that was so chaotic. Oh, and he gave a hug to Caitlyn. That's nice. Well, it was still a perfect, like we nailed the uh, toddler play date. Poor Casey needs to sleep. Meanwhile, Skylar's having the time of her life having this play date with all the kids. I love this kind of like blended family. I think it's really nice. And Jessie said that she had a lot of fun with Nicole. Okay. I like that Jessie's kind of like a part of the family now and that we have a pretty good relationship with them. Okay, Ash, why don't you go to sleep? Should she still go to work? No, 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 she should go to work. Come on, Amethyst. Get up and go to work, please. She's so mad. She's like, I don't want to go to work. Work is garbage. Look at her. She's so mad. Someone else here? Who's here? Oh, it's Dale. It's Uncle Dale. Oh my gosh. Invite Dale in. Thanks for stopping by, Uncle Dale. Our toddler playdate was, in fact, legendary. There are so many family members all come over. Oh, yell at coworkers? Oh my gosh. We're trying to take care of everybody's needs and it's so hard right now. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to start the rehearsal dinners out again? Everyone is in chaos, but yeah, let's start this rehearsal dinner. Go <laughs> Okay, everybody is here. Party's getting started. Okay, we need to have a celebration feast and some toast. So why don't we make a group outside? Oh, we're already in a big group. Perfect. All right, let's kind of like have everybody come outside. I think outside would be perfect for everybody. Okay, why don't you dance? Teach dancing, please. Oh my gosh. We could ask someone to teach us to dance. Why don't Amethyst, why don't you teach your little brother Sterling to dance? Everybody else, please come back here. Okay, we're all gonna go back to the back here and we're gonna have our nice dinner. We're gonna serve an assortment. Great, and then we're gonna call everyone. Let's eat food. It's food time, everybody. Let's come eat. Oh, the music is very intense. Look at him, he's dancing. He's learning to dance, but she's having fun. Everyone's having their celebration feast over here. At least a lot of them are. Oh yes, okay, Cannon's here. We need to ask him to be something at the wedding. They're all enjoying their meal together and then they're gonna do some toasts after, but she's gonna go over here and ask him to be the officiant at the wedding. Will you marry us, Cannon? He's so happy, he's like, of course. Oh my gosh, how sweet. And why don't you maybe give her like a nice hug or something. Ask about her day to Caitlyn. We're gonna bond a little bit with Caitlyn and then we need to ask Amethyst. Oh, looks like she's calmed down, yay. Okay, that's really good, I'm really glad. Will you be the sim of honor at our wedding? And Amethyst is like, oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. Of course, mom, I'll be your sim of honor. Aww, and we're gonna thank her for coming. And then I think we're gonna go back here and we're going to have some toes. Maybe Casey can kind of start the ball rolling here. She's like, hey everyone, it's toast time. And she's gonna give a toast. It looks like everyone's even coming out, which is good. She's raising up a glass to her beautiful wife, Skylar, and saying, here's to Skylar. Sweet Angel Sterling is talking to strangers, but he's over here with dad. At least dad's watching them. And oh my gosh, even Casey came over and Amethyst. Oh my gosh, Amethyst has a little glass of something from the toasts. Apparently mom let her have a glass. But so far, actually, the rehearsal dinner did not go too bad. Allison and Peachishme? Oh my gosh, it's an Peachishme. Let's have a little polite introduction. That's so sweet. Okay, we don't have a ring bearer, but I honestly don't think we need one. I think it'll be okay without the ring bearer. And the boys, oh my gosh, you just, you need to take a nap. Boys, 
Please go nap. Okay, Amethyst is in a hot tub? What is she doing in the hot tub? I didn't even know there was a hot tub up here. Oh, there's a dance floor? Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I kind of want Casey and Skylar to have like a nice little kiss. Enthuse about the upcoming wedding. I love how their family's all coming together. Wait, what? Why is their romance so low? They used to be so high. Okay, well, I guess we can work on that. It's an awkward encounter. I think it's because the rest of them are all watching them flirt together but they don't care they're in love it went back up really fast so i don't know weird oh and she's a little tired it is midnight i think we should go home oh and look yes yeah, sterling and caitlin are playing together oh. The amount of just family bonding that's been going on is perfect. Let's have everyone go home. I mean, we could bring the food back home with us. I'm not gonna lie though. Like why waste it? You know, we spend a lot of money on this food. Taking it with us. Listen, all right, we're gonna put this in the fridge when we get home. We'll have a bunch of food. The rehearsal dinner was a success. Skylar is the last to go home. She's closing down the club here. It's 3 a.m. and I want you to go home at midnight. <laughs> all right, so let's plan the wedding. We're gonna do the wedding ceremony. We have the sim of honor as Amethyst. The officiant is Cannonito. Our flower pal is Kala. All right, the guests are gonna be Nicole Berry, Riley, Caitlin and Dale. Should Dale have a plus one and invite Jesse? Yeah, we'll invite Dale's wife, Jesse, and then we'll invite Jordan and Genevieve. I'm like a little nervous that it's gonna be just chaos. There's no Todds at the wedding. They're having a toddless wedding. Honestly, I respect it. I respect the toddless wedding. Okay, so we are going to walk down the aisle. We are obviously going to have an exchanging of vows and we are going to have a, a dance. And I think that's really all we need. Okay, the style, we're going to edit their outfits. <laughs> I feel like for Skylar, what should Skylar wear? Oh my gosh, there's so many new options. I mean, that looks beautiful. I feel like I always wear that dress. Whoa, -ho -ho, she looks incredible in that. Okay, anyway, I kind of feel like one of them should wear this or one of them could wear this. <gasps> it comes in gray. Oh, I think we should wear this. I think this is perfect for Skylar. Like, it would be kind of cute if Skylar wore like a gray dress. I mean, I don't know, you know? I don't know. I just liked the gray suit. I think it was snazzy. And we could do like some white heels or maybe just like white pumps. Yeah, yeah. And then we will have this one. I think that one's pretty. So yeah, we'll do the wedding nails for Skylar. And then maybe should we do like any jewelry or makeup? Maybe some like nice new eyeshadow. This one's okay. I'll go with this one. And then we'll do like a nice eyeliner. I know there's like a new one from the pack. I guess we'll do this and then we'll do some lip. Oh my gosh, she looks so mature. Should we do a different hair? I feel like she always has this hair. It might be kind of fun to do something different with her hair. Oh, that's pretty. I kind of like this. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, and then accessories. All right, we could do some of these earrings. I think are cool on her. Oh, so pretty. Oh my gosh. This is Skylar's look for her wedding day. Gorgeous, stunning, perfect. Okay, let's do Casey's. Oh wow, did I ever give you a makeover? Oh wow, we need to give Casey some new eyelashes because those CC eyelashes are something. So Casey's wearing a dress. Although Casey loves a casual style, I also think Casey wears a lot of dresses. So we could go for a dress for Casey for the wedding. I think that would be nice. I think this just looks really nice on Casey. It doesn't come in a gray. It does come in a gray, but Casey's not gray, Jen. Casey doesn't need to wear that. And then we will wear again white some white shoes get maybe matching nails or actually i kind of like these i like the french tip i think that's pretty oh that actually kind of goes and then we have for makeup we'll do maybe a nice little blush for a lip we'll do a nice neutral lip i love like this natural look and then for the eye makeup yes that's perfect and i will go in with the lip and actually change it to be more pinky i think Nice, okay, I love it. It's subtle, it's pretty. Casey looks beautiful. It's very feminine, but I also think Casey wears some really feminine pieces in dress up kind of party wear. And so I'm kind of going off of that, I think. <laughs> 
Dress code is polished, please and thank you. Okay, and we're going to be having it at the wedding venue, Japanese Grey Wedding, and we'll have it at, I wanna say a little earlier, 4 p.m. wedding tomorrow, it's happening. I need to pick out what Amethyst is gonna wear to the wedding. Okay, so her outfit, we're gonna give her something else for the wedding. The flower one is so pretty, but I think this one feels more like a wedding. Um, we'll do gray shoes since it's gray gen wedding. Perfect. Let's have everybody get put to bed. Okay, here we're gonna put Sterling to bed and you're going to put Ash to bed. Okay, and then Amethyst is hungry randomly. So she's gonna grab, actually she can grab a bunch of leftovers because we grabbed all of the leftovers that we paid for. I think that was the right call. So go grab some leftovers from the meal. Oh, not you, not you, not you, not you. Put the baby down, put Sterling to bed. I was talking about Amethyst. Amethyst gets some leftovers. It's 3 a.m. The goal is just to get everybody's needs perfect. Working on that guitar almost to level five. There it is. And it looks like Skylar is just watching the kids sleep. That's very cute, but you should go to bed, Skylar, okay? Sterling is already in bed. He put himself to bed, apparently. So we're still gonna go to school. Oh shoot, that means you should do your homework. Do your homework, Amethyst, please, 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 please. I should have made you do your homework. That's on me. I totally forgot. I guess doing a little bit is not as bad as doing none. Have fun at school. Amethyst. Skylar is stressing. It's the day before the wedding. Why don't you do a nice little run to feel more confident? And Ash is awake. He's gonna eat some popcorn. Stop trying to eat popcorn, kids. We have so much food. Why don't you eat some turkey or some chicken or whatever that is? What are you listening to, Amethyst? Focus music? Okay. Oops, someone's calling. Winner, winner, Amethyst won a school prize and they called Casey about it. Should we give it to her in front of the class or quietly and privately? Let's give her in front of everyone. She does need some more emotional control. How you doing, Casey? We're gonna take care of all your needs. Don't worry about, oh my gosh, this already went bad. Okay. Wait, oh my gosh, <gasps> is Cannon here and he's an elder? Cannon Edo aged up. Wait, does that mean Skylar's gonna age up soon? I think it means Skylar should age up soon, but because she's Skylar, she's not aging up. Is Casey gonna age up soon? Wow, Casey's older than Skylar. Oh, Casey's eating food. Did Cannon come in? Come in, Cannon. Ask about wedding day. Be like, our, we can't wait for you to come. Oh my gosh, I can't believe Cannon is an old man. I feel like we should give Cannon old man makeover. I will after this episode, I think. We'll give everybody, oh my gosh, what a flippin' mess. We're just gonna replace it. I can't right now. All right, are the boys okay? Their boys are mostly okay. Sterling needs some sleep time and hygiene. Why don't you go to sleep? Both of you need a little bit of sleep, so. I'm trying to get everybody's needs perfect and it's so hard. I feel like Amethyst's needs will not be perfect. Oh, the song! This is from the trailer of the new pack. You gotta slow dance with Casey to this song. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to watch them slow dance to this. Oh, so cute. That's nice. They were gazing into each other's eyes. And then, of course, Skylar goes and does push-ups. She, she wants to impress her girl, you know? She's like, look at me, babe. I'm so strong. <laughs> oh, they're both listening to this song together. We love it. I love it so much. Oh, Skylar likes dancing. That's very really sweet. I like that she likes dancing. You should kiss each other's cheeks. Aww. I'm not gonna lie, I had to be stuck with any sim for a very long time. I think Skylar's the one for me. I can't lie, I love her so much. I love her so dearly. Why don't we give you a bubble bath, Sterling? Oh, wedding ceremony is starts soon, okay. Amethyst is still a C student. She tried though, she tried. All right, sweetie, why don't you take a disco nap? You can get your fun and hunger up at the wedding, but you can't nap at the wedding, so we're gonna have you sleep. Cause you're obviously an important part of the wedding party. You are all the wedding party, to be honest. Are you ready to start? Yes, we are ready to start the wedding. Oh, it's here. Gray gen wedding of the century and the finale, marrying a neat sim. Okay, look at everyone. We're here. We got to make sure everyone changes their clothes into the correct outfits. Gather at the aisle. All right, we're going to gather at the aisle. It's wedding time, baby. Not everyone is here. Whatever, it's fine. Okay, how about ceremony activity? Let's take our seats. It is time for the wedding 
to begin. Half of the party couldn't make it. You know, that's okay. It's okay. It's a small wedding and we love a small wedding. All right, everyone go go sit down together, please. Two hours later. No one's listening to me. Everyone's having too much fun talking for two hours. Are you kidding? All right, well, we don't have our flower pal, which sucks. All right, we're gonna send Cannonino down. Actually, let's send Sterling down the aisle. Go down the aisle, Sterling. Hey, Tabo hey. Bondo, babe. What is this spooky noise? Is it Yamachan? This is a, a literal nightmare. I literally have been waiting for hours for these Sims to like sit down and they won't. So Sim of Honor, there are no Sims selected. Are you kidding me? I literally selected Amethyst as the Sim of Honor. It's fine. We're fine. We don't need this. All we need is love. I knew this would be glitchy and I thought I could dial it back and it's fine. So we're gonna send down Skylar first, okay? Just walk down the aisle, please. Just walk down the aisle, please. All right, no one's doing anything and everyone's fighting. Okay, all right. Yeah, we're ending the ceremony. Oh my gosh, and everyone is miserable. I'm just so very disappointed, guys. I'm really sorry. I'm, I'm trying my best out here. Let's just get married, all right? Please just go get married. Just go get married right now. Just go get it. Okay. Oh my god, she just passed out! Skylar just passed out on the thing. Oh my gosh, this is, this is an actual nightmare. I can't even just get them normal married. I don't know what to do other than just send them all home. Oh my gosh, it was supposed to be such a beautiful wedding. Nobody dressed up the way I wanted them to. Nobody even could sit down, let alone the sitting down. No one could walk up the aisle. No one could get married. Ugh, I want to make up like a reason this happened in The Sims. I don't even have a good idea for why this would have happened. You know, maybe they hired a very terrible wedding planner. It just became chaos when they got there. Maybe they, they were like, you can't even get married right now. Okay. You didn't pay the deposit. And we're like, we did pay the deposit. Look at poor Amethyst passing out. Everyone's miserable, including me. That sucked, but they look beautiful, right? They look gorgeous. She's already on the treadmill. I can't, I can't with you too. I have an idea, kind of. We're going to get an instant like energy potion, just like a sleep replacement potion. We're gonna drink it. Hurry up and drink it. Drink the sleep replacement placement potion or literally just ignore me forget me what do i matter okay we're traveling together it didn't work out but skylar's like i'm getting married okay they're here they're dressed up they're together they're gonna walk up the aisle together look at them okay wait i went the wrong way oh flip okay try it again try it again we're gonna walk the aisle together. These two lovebirds, we're having it happen. It doesn't matter, no one's here. All they need is themselves. And of course, Amethyst is at home watching the kids so she can't be here. Look at, oh, they're so sweet. Okay, and then I want them to get married beneath this wedding arch. Here they go, in this beautiful location. No one is here. It's the perfect wedding. I love it. Casey's like, I will take you to be my wife forever and ever, and I love you so much. You're my soulmate. They're exchanging their vows. Skylar is like, uh, you know what? We might have had a really messed up wedding, but I think if we can make it through that and still be in love, I think we can make it through anything. Oh my gosh, and look how cute Casey looks. Okay, and then they're going to walk back up the aisle together. Oh, so cute. Now they're married. Oh. Okay, and then they're gonna have their first dance together over here on the dance. We're gonna play some like romantic music. Here they go. Go have your first dance, baby girl. Oh, or or go pee. Nope, she's not gonna pee. She's gonna have the dance. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I got the moment that I wanted. Them uh, loving on each other. Okay, and then she really does need to pee, so she's gonna pee. They're both gonna go pee, actually. Oh, she's gonna clean it. That cracks me up. All right, go use the toilet. It's fine. That's your wife in there. You're allowed to use the toilet while she's showering. I think you've made it. You've gotten to that point. They're both hungry. You know what? What's ever? Let's serve some sort of little macaroons or something. They're gonna have some macaroons together. Or they won't. Okay. Is there any other wedding wedding -y things they should do? Maybe like a little kiss? And Casey's passed out. All right, so they're not having a kiss and we're going home. You know what? We did all we needed to do. We got married. We look beautiful. The venue was adorable. Casey's ready to go home. She's already back into her boots and t-shirt. Skylar looks amazing in her gray suit. That's the end, guys. We did it. We finished the final thing of the gray gen, which was marry a neat sim. And I think we married a keeper. You know, we married the sim that will go through life's ups and downs with us.
us go through the rough bits. And I think Casey's really good for, for Skylar. She really balances her out. And I just love them together. Next episode, we'll officially start the plum generation. I hope that you enjoyed this generation. I know I did. We'll definitely obviously see more of the family since um, Plum is still pretty young. So we've got plenty of time with Plum getting her to level three of her first career and also um, getting her <laughs> skills and grades up. So thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next one.